Let's take a look at the basics of space claim. And we'll look at the basics in the context of maybe creating some kind of geometry around an existing workpiece. Now, if you're in a machine shop and you receive a 3D model, you cannot readily just go change the model. The customer's model needs to stay the same. So that's why in space claim we let you lock down a model. So any types of changes you try to make afterwards are restricted. So in the way of building some geometry around this workpiece, some kind of a fixture, namely. I'll start drawing out a few sketches. Now, it's not important to me right away where these sketches are or the exact sizes, but I'm just mapping out what I'll call maybe some milestone locations and, and roughing out the sizes. I've got maybe a block that will hold this workpiece towards the front and some kind of a cylinder on the back side. And maybe the last sketch I need is to rough out a base on which the block, uh, that rectangular block, and the cylinder will, will be held in place. Using the first of my major tools called pull, it's easy to take any of those regions that I just created and pull on them, start making some geometry. And you see me doing this in a freeform fashion, meaning I haven't put any dimensions in, whether it was on the sketch or on those two solids I just made. But at any time in space claim, I can put precision into movements and changes and the creation of geometry anytime and anywhere that I want. And something I love about the software is when I need to add some new features to the model, I don't really have to mess around with sketches anymore if I don't want to. I've got useful geometry all around me with which I could make new regions to play with. And then when I pull on those, I get extra geometry in the mix. So it's a fast way to create some things in your model on the fly. Uh, one obvious problem I have with this, you're wondering, is how is this going to be a realistic fixture? I've got a major interference between the workpiece and the green bodies. Well, using one of my tools called Combine, this lets me chop up models. So I really want to chop up the green model and use the blue one to do it. And so excess areas and areas of interference I can get rid of just with a click of a button. And here's the great part. When I hide the blue workpiece, you'll see that its contour has been transferred exactly to the green bodies. Now there's still a little bit more cleanup and work you may want to do to add that precision you want into the model. Everything in the center of the cylinder you may want to get rid of. It's not necessary to actually mill that out or turn that out. So I could just, in a sense, turn the cylinder into some kind of a tube. And I have a tool to let me do that. It's called Split Solid. It lets me chop up a model based on a new surface I just created. And it automatically puts me in a mode of deleting the center of that based on that new surface that uh, cut it up. So I'll get rid of that surface. I don't need it anymore. And this is now a tube much easier to uh, machine the end of this out. So you saw me use the pull tool to actually create geometry. It's this fill tool that allows me to delete it because maybe there's things I just don't want and aren't necessary for holding this in place. I can fill those things in and get rid of the geometry on the fly. Typically, when you have some kind of a fixture, you may want a small offset. You may not want an exact line fit, so with the pull tool, grab faces I want to modify and make them bigger or smaller accordingly. You know, let's resize this by a small amount, maybe uh, an eighth of a millimeter. So now when I show the workpiece and the fixture, you'll see a slight offset between the two. So you could actually mill to the nominal or mill to just a smaller uh, tolerance below nominal. Now, from my understanding, with fixturing, you'll probably need some kind of an undercut around here. That kind of fit just won't really work, and it's really not that machinable either. You probably need some rounds so as to mill this out. I'm actually working in a cross-section mode. It's so easy to visualize the model in a cross-section mode, but the unique thing is, is wherever your view is in space claim, we allow you to actually use the main tools, pull, move, fill, combine, in a cross-section mode. So from here, I'll add a couple rounds, size those to whatever you want, whatever your tool is, and you're done. And maybe there's another round on this back edge. And if I want to increase the size of that one, I can do that too, just to make sure there's enough clearance for this part to fit on there and it's not getting stuck on corners. So there you have it. In just a few minutes, I can rough out the shape of a fixture and actually put the precision in where I want to and however I need to using the simple tools in space claim.